Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today is my August 2021 home fragrance empty. So as you guys can see, I have a big basket over here to my left that is filled with candle and wax empties and oils and so forth. I do apologize if you guys hear a little bit of uh, rumbling in the background. It's Sunday and today is the day that I wash my bed linens. So sheets, fitted sheet, pillowcases, those are all done. Comforter is in the wash now. So I figured why not sit down and go ahead and film this video for you guys. So this is going to be a lengthy video because there is a lot. I used up a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start with like wallflower bulbs. These are the Better Homes and Gardens version at Walmart. So the one on the left is Tahitian Woods and the one on the right is Tropical Daydream. I do put them in these uh, Ziplocs to keep it from oil leaking. As you see, there's oil residue in the bag. And let's go ahead and move on. So like I said, a mix of candles and wax melts here. I did finish a very good bit this month. We have here Goose Creek Watermelon Patch. And this was very, very fragrant at first. I did find that as it got down to the bottom, it was not nearly as fragrant. It was a little bit kind of on the dud side at the end. Another candle we have here, Mango Waters. I ended up burning this in my office. If you guys seen my haul video, you guys know that I think that this ended up smelling like um, the old school Bath & Body Works 2D Dolce line in Mango Sorbet. Scent description on this one is sugared mangoes, pink grapefruit, fresh seagrass with essential oils. Another candle we used up, and this was a bigger one. This is DW Home, and this is in Tropical Punch. It says that it had a burn time of 26 hours. It did not go all the way to the bottom. It burned pretty well. I usually have bad luck with DW Home candles. If you notice, I haven't hauled many in the last year or two. This one has been sitting in my collection for multiple years, like just to give you an idea, back when I bought it. At Marshall's, it was $7.99. I think they have increased their prices, and a candle this size is anywhere from $9.99 to $12.99. Not the most fragrant. I was glad it didn't get sooty like the other ones. Like, I would definitely probably consider purchasing another DW Home Candle now that I've had better luck with this one. Let's go ahead and grab something a little bit different. Here is a melt. This was Scentsy Red Pear and Pomegranate. This was really nice. I definitely feel like the pomegranate was a standout, but the pear added like a crisp, watery fruit note to it. So I definitely think that that one was a winner. I actually have that one in my Scentsy subscription, so I do get that on the regular. Here is a candle that just was not a winner for me. This was Yankee Candle Sun Drenched Apricot. This candle was a pain in my butt from the start. So the wick was kind of split on this, if that makes sense. It was like frayed. And no matter how much trimming I did, I had huge flames, lots of soot, not a good fragrance payout on this one. I wanted to be as diverse as possible this month with candles. So I went ahead and I did burn one of my Swan Creek candles. This one is in Key Lime Pie. And this was a limited edition release. They ended up releasing this with like s'mores and a few others either last fall or the fall before that. 
their candles tend to go a little bit sooty on me and in the past they didn't have the greatest throw. I usually stick to their tubs of wax. This one wasn't bad. I would definitely consider buying more Swan Creek candles. Sticking with more Swan Creek. To go with that, I did finish up the Break Apart Herbal Melts in Key Lime Pie. True Key Lime Pie Fragrance. So those corresponded perfectly together. Here we have Goose Creek Risen. And this was a fruity floral fragrance. I believe I burned this one in my bedroom. Nice fragrance, but also just nothing special by any means. Good burner. Definitely not sooty. Burned clean and evenly. Really nice candle to work with. Here is a little candle that I used up in my bathroom. This is Bath and Body Works Peach Bellini. Scent description is white peach. So just a little one. These are the perfect size that I like for in my bathroom. This was the first candle I ever burnt in my new house. And this was Huntington Home Sunday Brunch, which smelled like maple pancakes. Really nice smelling candle, but if you guys can't tell, $3.99. I try not to complain about this because of the price point. I did have to do a lot of pouring out. Had to really babysit this candle to get it to work. But it did have good fragrance throw to it. Another little candle we have here, once again, a bathroom burner, Bath & Body Works, Fresh Spring Blue Skies. Scent description on this says, enjoy a fragrance inspired by throwing open the window on a perfect spring day with a blend of breezy air notes, blue water, and a hint of citrus. Get some more of these melts out of the way. I'm pretty sure I had three of these. Yes, they're all stuck together. These are Yankee Candle Melts, and this is in Color Me Happy. If you like, like, Yankee Candle Mango Peach Salsa, very similar, very, very peachy fragrance. Perfect for summertime, but I can't lie, I am very happy that it is officially fall burning candle season. Another small candle, and this was a bathroom burner for me. So this is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This one was absolutely beautiful. Scent description, tropical passion fruit, radiant kiwi, and juicy pineapple. Here is a diffuser oil that I used up from Swan Creek in a white peach and clove. I absolutely love and adore white peach and clove. I ran this in my diffuser a lot when we first got moved in this past month. Like I said, just love, love, love this scent from them. I have it in candle form. I have it in refill wax form. I even have backups of it in oil. It is just a beautiful peach scent. Another little candle here. This was from a Aldi collection where they had like three tins in a pack. This is Huntington Home, Pomander, and Cypress. And it says Soy Coconut Wax. These containers are pretty cute. Some of them I do plan to keep. This color scheme I'm not crazy about. So this one I am going to get rid of. Uh, perfect size for the bathroom. Relatively good burner. Had good fragrance to it. So definitely no complaints from that stance. Let's get some more of these big ones out of the way. So this was a office burner for me. And this is Bath & Body Works Surf Shop. Scent description on this is Oceanside Birch, Sparkling Waves, Summer Spruce, Sage with Natural Oils. This is from this year's semi-annual sale when they marked candles down 75%. I think I got this for $6.12. Really good burner on that one, but... 
I'm definitely glad I also only picked up one of it because it wasn't a favorite by any means for me. Here is another small candle. This one was actually one of the first ones I burned in my office, and this is Honeysuckle Bouquet. I am a very, very big Honeysuckle fragrance fan. Scent description on this one. Oh, they quit putting scent descriptions on these new ones. Gorgeous, sweet, floral. Like I said, I absolutely love honeysuckle bouquet. I definitely have a few of those floating around. Let's grab some more big candles. So this was a downstairs candle. I actually had this going in my living room. My living room is not done. Hopefully it's going to be painted today or part of it today. Labor Day weekend. Husband had a long weekend. We got our entryway painted. Pretty much only have to finish up our living room and we are nearly done with our renovation list. So this is Goose Creek Candle Mimosa Sea Spray and... One of the reasons why I burned this right away is I wasn't crazy about this. I don't know if you guys saw this in my haul or if I posted my haul yet. It's okay. It's definitely a fresh scent. It's definitely a little floral, but it just, it doesn't mesh with me. I was not impressed by this fragrance. Another big one here, this is Carnival Dreams, and I burned this one in the kitchen, once again by Goose Creek. I guess I was on quite a bit of a Goose Creek uh, adventure this month. <laughs> and crazy thing is, is I have two Goose Creek candles burning right now for fall. So Carnival Dreams, let me go ahead and pop the top on this one, see if I can give you a scent description. Honestly, it's not sticking in my head, so clearly it wasn't that memorable. And right now it smells really sooty, so I, unfortunately I can't give you guys a good review on Carnival Daydreams because it just really wasn't that memorable to me. So I am glad that it's gone. Hopefully we can get my camera to go back to focusing for us. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So I think I'm going to try to tilt my basket and I may end up regretting this. Oh yeah, instant regret on that one. But as you see, we still have a good bit left. I was actually going to do my hair, makeup, and get on video for you guys, but my tripod is still at the old house. This is a Wax Melt Sensationals Marshmallow Krispies. My daughter absolutely loved this. Kind of smells like uh, Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. So this was a melt that she ended up using in her room. Another large jar candle here. Goose Creek Strawberry Daiquiri. Oh, this was beautiful. True, super sweet, candied strawberry loaded with sugar, almost like a strawberry fruit roll-up smell. I would definitely grab this one again. Excellent burner. Burned all the way down. Flawless performance. I definitely miss Goose Creek making these bigger candles. Another wax melt here from Sensationals. This is Wonderland Berry Apple and Peony. So fruity floral, really nice. I ended up melting this downstairs in my house. I have two, yeah, two warmers set up down here. I'll give you guys a shot, but you guys cannot judge because we have touch-ups due in here. So I have a warmer over there that I have going. I actually have um, Swan Creek Wonderlust in there today. And then behind me in the kitchen, I have the um, lemonade pitcher warmer from uh, Scentsy in my living room. Speaking of Scentsy, I did use a iridescent pearl Scentsy bar. This is one of my favorite, if not my top Scentsy fragrance. This is hands down the best fresh scent that there is. This is non-offensive. You can easily have this going throughout your home throughout the year. It doesn't have to be spring, winter, fall, summer for this fragrance. You can burn this, or I should say melt this, 
any time and it is absolutely phenomenal. Sticking with Scentsy, we used up sugared strawberry to go with that strawberry goose creek candle. Really nice sweet strawberry scent tied in very well with that fragrance. Another Swan Creek Drizzle Melt in Pink Passion Fruit Gelato. And I remember loving this when I bought it. And I clearly loved it because I bought like two or three of them. Honestly, I'm slowly working this out of my collection because it just doesn't have a good throw to it. Like, yeah, it smells like passion fruit, but it feels like it might be dulled down by some vanilla. Not the most fragrant thrower. So this is definitely a skip in the future for me. Let's go ahead and grab some more candles out here. We have a small candle from Yankee Candle in Water Garden. You guys know this is one of my favorite Yankee Candle fragrances. Between Tutti Frutti and Water Garden, those are my top two fragrances from Yankee Candle. Another little candle here in Pineapple Mango. This was a bathroom burner. Most of my little candles are always bathroom burners. This one is old, so it does have the scent description on the bottom. Luscious tree ripened mango and sweet tropical pineapple are complemented by crisp lotus and hints of warm vanilla. Another wax melt here, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Better Homes and Gardens, Apple Blossom, and Freesia. Gorgeous, fruity, floral. Definitely lends itself to be on the fresh, very feminine side. I do believe this is a permanent, and I would highly, highly suggest that one. Another melt here, and then we have five candles left, and we are done. Vanilla and peach, and this is absolutely amazing. I'm usually not the biggest vanilla person, but I love peach. The vanilla played very, very well with the peach. And the reason why I melted that is because I actually burned the candle as well. So this was a big candle. This was the first candle that I burnt in my bedroom, I believe. And the reason why it got sooty was down at the end. I mean, down at the end, I totally neglected it. I let it burn itself out. So as it was burning itself out, it did get a little bit on the sooty side. Very good throw. Don't quite remember the price point on this, but definitely glad that I picked up vanilla peach in candle and wax form. Four more candles left. So the next one I have here, and I believe that this is a Aldi candle. Do, do, do. Yes. So this is an Aldi Huntington home. This was like special packaging they did. This was a single or a double wick. Let me go ahead and pop the lid off so I can accurately answer you guys on that. Single wick. So... Did not pull the greatest, but it wasn't really a bad performer. And this one is in sheer rain. Super fresh scent. I love my fresh scents. This was a bedroom burner for me. Like I said, not the greatest performance-wise as it had a hard time pulling out. But it was very fragrant. Now, one thing I will say, speaking of Aldi candles, this one here, it was a downstairs burn for me and it was totally awful. If you guys saw other empties, the Aldi Huntington Home Valentine's Day collection was a total flop. These candles did not burn worth, worth a crap, essentially. Very skinny, puny wicks, constantly drowning in that kind of stuff. So this is the one that I kept saying smelled like old school Bath and Body Works Caribbean Escape. I ended up going back and buying all of them because it smelled so good. But the performance is so lackluster on these, as you guys can see. Definitely a tunnel candle. The cool thing is, is that my husband said that as the weather starts getting colder here in Ohio, he is a smoker. I'm a non-smoker. I don't allow smoking in my house. All smoking has to be outside. One of the things when we bought this house is I wanted him to have an attached garage. 
That way, if he wanted to smoke in the garage, he could do so. And that way, he wasn't smoking in the house. Um, now he wants to burn candles in the garage because he'll be smoking in the garage. So all my Valentine's Day, all the candles are going to go to the garage for him to utilize as smoking candles because he doesn't know how to take care of a candle. He doesn't care if a candle tunnels or how it performs or anything like that. So his standards are very, very low. And I definitely think that these candles will be perfect for anybody with low standards. So two Goose Creek candles left. And we have here Salt Water Orchid. And I do believe that I burned this one in my living room. It might have been in my kitchen. Gorgeous. No, this was an office burn. I burnt this in my office. I think this was the first candle I burnt in my office. I loved the orchid smell and then that pinch of saltiness to it and it was just fresh. So the salt came from like the smell of like a uh, saltwater ocean. And then orchids. Very, very nice fragrance on that one. So amongst this mess, we have one more candle left. And then we, oh, I have one more melt left. I did technically have three more melts, but my husband threw two of them away. So my daughter and I, we ended up melting down some of my Swan Creek tubs and I bought these one ounce condiment containers for us to pour our own wax melts. And I like that these containers are disposable. So very easy to throw these in my fragrance basket and show you guys what I burnt. This is Swan Creek Citrus and Sage and I love citrus and sage from them. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh scent. Good for year round. I definitely want to get my hands on more sage and citrus. I definitely want to get it in candle form, hopefully soon. But right now I do want to focus on using up some of what I have and I'm working my way through my collection. So the last candle, like I said, is from Goose Creek. If you guys made it through this entire video, I definitely appreciate it because it is, I think, my longest candle empty video I have ever made. This is Goose Creek Meadow Orchid. So fresh floral scent, definitely nothing to write home about. It was pretty, but it wasn't a standout by any means. So let's go ahead and take a final overlook of all the candle empties. So I did not count how many, but I'm definitely venturing to say that I used up about 20 candles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.